Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Ari in the Air. I'm stoked you're here. Today, I wanna to pass on to you two small rigging details for your reserve parachute that I picked up from Raul Rodriguez, the godfather of acrobatics. And they're just two little details to make sure that you're, if you ever need to throw your reserve, that it will come out of your harness and that it will come out of the bag. Ready? Here we go. See ya. All right, thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, I've made over 100 paragliding tutorials and tips and talking about paragliding philosophy and theory and thermaline and how to do your first cross country, how to learn acrobatics, all this stuff. So subscribe to the channel for a lot of awesome paragliding content. Consider supporting me on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash area in the air. And if you want paragliding or philosophical coaching, check out area in the air.com and uh, would love to work with you there. So let's get right into this uh, reserve parachute. Two little details here. So today I'm setting up a harness for a friend. So there's a couple important things when this comes out of the bag. The first thing is I demonstrate here as this comes out, you'll notice that the configuration is that the smooth side of the inner container is facing up, not down. That means that the main closure, as we call it, is down. The reason for this is because as you sit in your harness and you go like this and you pull up, look at where the friction is on the container. See that? It's pulling, it's dragging hard against the side of the harness, okay? If it were the other way and you pull up on it, then the friction is going to push against the main closure and you risk the main closure opening and you just pull the bag out, leaving the parachute inside of your harness. Okay, I hope that makes sense. You always want the smooth side of the container against the part of the harness that you will pull against. This is an underseat reserve. If it's a lumbar reserve, it's the same thing. If it's a lumbar reserve, you want it here because you know you're gonna pull like this against it to get it out of there, okay? Always follow the manufacturer's recommendations, but in general, that's a good principle to know. Okay, the second thing that's so important, basically, your main closure, if you lift, I'll just do this on the ground, hopefully you can see this here. If I just have the parachute like this and I pull up, I should not be able to hold it up. See that? That's a little too tight. If you lift up on the parachute, it should come out. Okay, you see this one barely doesn't. This is okay, but not optimal. So I will go in and I'll lengthen the closing loop ever so slightly. So I don't wanna be able to lift up the parachute by this. The reason that I don't wanna do this is if this, if I try to throw my parachute and it just drops out of my hand and it goes to line stretch and it holds like this, it's stuck in the bag, right? Obviously, if you drop it and it tugs, it's going to open, okay? So really close is probably okay, but in general, as a rule of thumb, you don't wanna be able to lift the parachute by the lines while it's stowed in the main closure. To adjust that, you see here that this is called a closing loop. This just goes through this eyelet in the inner container. Just undo the knot, adjust the length of the closing loop, so that the parachute can't be lifted by its own weight, okay? Those are the two tips I have for you. I hope that's helpful. I always recommend people start getting into their reserve parachutes. You don't have to be a pro to do this. There's tons of videos online. Every manufacturer of every parachute and harness 
comes with a manual. It will tell you how to repack it. It's not so difficult. Get a couple of your friends, your paragliding friends, find a nice clean space and dig into these things. This is your equipment. You should know how to deal with it. Until then, seek the advice of a professional or your friends that are very experienced and they're usually very happy to help. I hope this has been helpful. For more paragliding content, subscribe to this channel. If you like and want to support what I'm doing, check out patreon.com slash airy in the air. And if you want to work with me to learn how to paraglide or improve your paragliding skills, whether that's coaching for cross country, I've got a couple of cross country clinics coming up. I also do one-on-one -on -one trainings here in Oregon. I also do trainings over Zoom where we analyze your flights and I can give you tips like that. Thanks so much for watching. Fly safe. We'll see you in the next episode.